Hey guys, time for another theme park worldwide vlog. Mr. Hi. Joe Beasley, everybody. We're at Chessington World of Adventures Resort today for the opening day of Chessington Halloween. Not Halloween, Halloween. As in a werewolf going howling. It's normally hocus pocus, but this year, after many years of a successful event, they've decided to have a little rebrand, which is nice. So we're going in with pots on the uh, on the other side to usual, not by the hotels. Gonna go round, we're not spending the whole day here, we're going down Fort Park in a bit as well. As you probably noticed by the title, for a re-round of their attractions for Halloween. Quite like this though. Nice theming. It's gonna be a good day. Don't know where we get in this side. I've not been in this way for a long time. Long time. You excited, Joe? Yeah. What we got here? We got two Halloween attractions. I won't call them scare mages because they're not, because it's a family park. But they're experiences, and we like experiences here on Theme Park Worldwide. Gonna start our morning off here at Chesterton with a ride on the Marathon spinning coaster known as uh, Dragon's Fury. He's got his name though. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna say Sonic Spinball. Yeah, Sonic Spinball. Hello, Sean. You alright? Hello. Hey. <laughs> we'll move back in the queue so we'll be, we can be with them. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm loving right? the face. We're not gonna be on the vlog, are we? Yeah, yeah. You're in the vlog now. I say it's famous now. There you go. Dragon's Fury, let's go. <laughs> Do you enjoy Dragon's Fury? Yeah! It's good, spinny. It's better than spinball, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's not too busy down this end. So we've got these two Halloween attractions to do later on. Like I say, we're not going to be spending the whole day here at Chesterton. Just coming in for a little bit, then we're going back to Friday nights for a rerun of uh, their five scare mazes. Going to go and have a ride on Vampire now. That's one of the attractions, actually. That's the exit to uh, Horrid Hollow. <laughs> Haunting in the hollow. Quite a lot of pumpkins and stuff around the park, isn't he? Quite a lot of scattered theming. <laughs> John Wardley. John Wardley. No, he's not here. It's his classic. Joking. I thought he was there. Sorry, I got excited then. <laughs> I do love this soundtrack they play around the park. It's really nice. Fizzy pop. Fizzy pop? Where's Professor Bib?
thing you'll notice about Chesterton is the amount of themed lighting around its queue lines and the whole park in fact. Unfortunately not going to be seeing this lighting tonight as we are heading to Thorpe Park but it does look nice. A lot of effort goes in at Chesterton to making the lighting look good. But first, let me ride a coaster. It's classic. Not scared in there, are you, Joe? Enjoy Vampire Joe. Oh, it's fantastic. How would you rate that roller coaster in your top? What was it in? Is it in your top 10, 20, 30, 40, 50? Not in your top 50? Probably 30, I'd say. Yeah? Top 30. Yeah, top 30. yeah I'd it's, probably rate it's... it. I think it comes in at a close 28, actually. Just behind Pegasus at Europa Park, that one. It's a great coaster. It's a very good coaster. But we're going now to a, uh, our first Halloween attraction of the day. Whee! What's it going to be, Joe? Uh, haunting in the hollow. Yeah, vampire yeah. haunted hollow. Oh, haunted, hollow. <laughs> haunted in the hallows. It's good, actually. They open at midday, the attractions here for Halloween, which is really good. And there's hardly anybody waiting at all, so I'm sure we'll have a couple of runs around through this. And of course, we'll let you know what it's like when they come out. I like the entrance to this, though. I like the variation of pumpkins. You know, we've got these big white ones here. All sorts of variations, which is nice. Literally, nobody I saw waiting. Speed earlier. That's what? I saw a speed earlier. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful views of the coaster as well. So we've just done Vampire Haunting in the Hollows. Pretty much the same experience as last year, including uh, one of my favourite scenes in there. But tell me your favourite part of that attraction. Oh, the indoor first, section, you know? definitely. I think the acting quality inside that attraction is brilliant. I love the costumes, the way everything's been thought about that experience. Oh, yeah, and for a family maze, it's quite intense, isn't it? <laughs> the costumes are fantastic, I agree. <laughs> we really enjoyed that. Very what did you two think? Really good, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's well themed, isn't it? So it lasts about a good 10 minutes. It's not so much like a scare mate, it's more of an experience. You're going through, hands on shoulders, you sort of let it go around bit as different actors talk and ask you to do different things. Basically, you're going around this abandoned village. Once you've been through the abandoned village, everything goes wrong, you go inside a house. Once you come out of the house, you have to get down because there's people going around in the graveyard. Then you go into the crypt where you got told at the start not to go in. Uh, and then get chased out. Out of 10, I'm going to give that attraction a good 8. Yes. Good what do you think? 8? What do you guys think? Yeah, 8. It's good. I, I like it. It's really nice, immersive. Uh, you know, definitely worth checking out. Don't expect the scares from it. But don't get me wrong, there's a couple of jumpy parts in there, especially the indoor section where, uh, you know, a lady actually jumps up off the off the bed. <laughs> so we'll leave that one there. Well, that's definitely the best scene, isn't it, Joe? Yeah, yeah, we do really like that scene. Again, just mentioning the costumes, you know, just quality, really. Really good, lovely soundtrack throughout as well. Let's go and do the next one, which is actually in uh, Hocus Pocus Hall, which is just up here. And Hocus Pocus Hall is obviously open all year. Then at Halloween, they turned it last year for the first time into an amazing, 
I mean, I was really impressed with this last year. Yeah. I mean, this was one of the best Halloween things I did last year. It's just a great family experience. Let's go and check it out. Just come out of the mystery of Hocus Pocus Hall. Attraction was added last year, as I said before we went in. As you know, the spider webs and stuff on the edge, well, the cloth, what they've put holes in on the entrance to look like a spider web it looks really, really cool. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it's good. It's like, quite, quite similar to last year. Yeah, pretty much the same. Different actors yeah, uh, as the last year, you know. No, I couldn't really think, I don't think there was any returning actors while we were in there last year. But the same sort of costume, same theme, and it was really, really good. I'd give it 7 out of 10. What about you? Uh, yeah, 7 out of 10. 7 yeah. out of 10, same reviews. We're going on Ripsaw 2 now. <laughs> Ramesses. Another right? We like, we like Ramesses. Good at these. I like these. Rami, okay. the revenge is sweet for Ramesses. <laughs> They're having a good day so far. Just a few more things to check out before we head off to Thorpe Park for our nights. Like we say, there is night riding here till 8 o'clock tonight. Um, however, it's only just gone 1 o'clock, obviously. Um, it is more of your family park. Joe's not been to Friday Night yet this year, so we're going to go and check that out. And obviously, you're going to get first reactions to Joe's Through the Mazes and Joe's Studio 13. Yeah. You excited for that? I am. I did like. Uh, and an improved cabin in the woods this year. Yeah. As well. I, I Everything's thought, been improved. I thought the thing with that last year was it was good, but it kind of depended how, how busy it was and how many people they put yeah, through. Definitely. So, uh, looking forward to that. But we'll be back in Chesterton hopefully next week as well to come and uh, do the event again here. But the two attractions is what we came for and we've got them in, which is good. I've done this for two years. It's been a while, yeah, yeah. I mean, me and Jack got a soaking. Jack from the, the other vlogs that you've seen, we got a soaking on this last time. But best not today, <laughs> even though we will be doing Tidal Wave later. <laughs> <laughs> he will, I'll get him on. See, we're now on the UK's biggest car park, heading to Thorpe Park after a good time at Chessington. I'll tell you about the sweet offer I just got two medium sized pick and mix for a fiver. Fantastic end of season offer. So, yeah, welcome to the UK's biggest car park, the one and only the M25. I think this is the first time the M25 is actually featured on a theme park worldwide vlog. Here it is, it's a motorway down south. Joe, tell me your thoughts and why do you think this actually clogs up? Because uh, it's just basically like if you if you can imagine like a clock. I right? can imagine a clock, Jack. You can imagine a clock, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you drive it, so pretend you're driving around a big roundabout, right? Big roundabout? A big roundabout, yeah. yeah. Someone brakes quite heavily. Like, I don't know. Maybe five five miles in front. Big car park. Uh, so basically, then the person behind overestimates how hard they're braking. They brake even harder. The person behind them brakes even harder. The person behind them brakes even harder. And then you end up standstill. <laughs> And that is why the M25 doesn't work. I say we do put four more lanes on each side. What do you reckon? Four more lanes? <laughs> I reckon it? four. We might get away with three. <laughs> get that installed by 2026, and then if it <laughs> needs to install more, they can make the infrastructure improvements. Yes. Let's go to Thorpe Park. 
for some more Friday night's action. Once we're out of the M25. The UK's biggest car park. The M25. Literally two minutes later, just as Joe predicted, the traffic is now moving at a speed of around 40 mph. Yes. Joe was right all along. See, it just, it tails back for nothing. So in about five seconds time, we're going to be at the lovely Intamin Track, whilst over Thorpe Park's entrance. Two, one. As if by magic, there it is, literally two seconds later, the Intamin Track. Here we are at Thorpe Park, how busy is the car park? Quite busy. Not a bit of grass over there. It's a few cars, there's a few cars. Let's see what we can get in anyway tonight. The Great Thought Park, yes. We have arrived at the Great Thought Park, yes. <laughs> how long is the queue, Joe? <laughs> 120 minutes. And how long is the queue for Studio 13? 120 minutes. How long is the queue for my bloody Valentine? 120 minutes. So which one are we gonna go on? 120 minutes. This <laughs> is Cabin in the Woods. Well, I don't reckon this is 120. I mean... Uh, oh, Slammer. It's working. I don't think this is 120. I, I think this is about 60. But we might do some fast tracking. We are going to get them all in no matter what tonight. If we have to fast track, we have to fast track. Photobomb, theme park worldwide on YouTube. Yeah, happy Halloween to you. <laughs> yeah, so... We'll see how it goes. But I honestly don't think this is as long as we make out. But we'll find out. Are you excited for Cabin? Cabin in the woods. New scenes for this year. We've already bumped into John, who you saw in the last vlog as well. Hi out there to John. Hopefully we'll be back off break by the time we get inside. Because <laughs> I might get attacked. We've decided to make an executive decision. We're going to actually purchase some fast track tickets for two of the five attractions here at Friday Nights 2014. That'll be Cabin in the Woods and also Studio 13. How do you feel, Joe? I don't think I've ever bought a fast track in my life. Uh, we don't buy very often, but we've travelled a long way for this. We want to get in the attractions. Obviously, I was only here last week and queued like 10 minutes for them, but I want to do them again. We've come all this way. So we are going to purchase some fast track and we're going to see how the night goes. Be worth it though, we're gonna wait for a bit though for Cabin just for John to come back off his break, you know. It's only five pound for a one shot, so it's not too bad. So we're gonna start off our thrilling Friday night experience on Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride. You looking forward to it? Yeah. Best pirate ship in the UK, it's got a good swing to it as well. Really do like this, what are you laughing at? There you go. One pound a bunch of bananas, one pound a bunch of bananas. Feel Joe after Studio 13. <laughs> that was amazing. Was I'm so out of breath. That is the best scare attraction. It's been about 30 so far this Halloween. Yeah, definitely. That was the best one. That was really intense. He grabbed me on my arm and just dragged me to the floor and I started chopping me. And because they can touch you in these mazes, it was <laughs> it was good that wasn't it. Chased out of there by about six actors as well. It's even ruined my shoe. Yeah, that Look at that. <laughs> it was good, it was good. It, it was it was intense. My shoe is knackered. <laughs> Due to that attraction. <laughs> 12 out of 10. The best scare I experienced of this year so far. Shoe no 13. <laughs> That's it, they've gotten that. John's wearing his socks. <laughs> There's a cracker, that was one of the funniest five minutes I've ever had that. Ramba? Oh, yeah. 
we didn't get wet at all. I mean, we're just discussing that. It's not the best rapids ever, is it? <laughs> it's not the worst, but it's not the best. I mean, Nemesis Inferno. Have we got any mist on today? Nope. Oh, can't see any mist. That was on the other week. I still love this exterior to Nemesis Inferno. But yeah, anyway, we were a bit rushed really with our review of Studio 13 again. In general, what, what did you think? So apart from it being the best scare of the year, what uh, did you like about it that much? The actors are very full on. Very From start full. to finish, yeah, it's action, well. isn't it? Um, I love the theme. The theme was great. The theme is amazing. It's like yeah, it's something I've a bit seen different. Like that. Yeah. Something a bit different. You know, we're fed up of asylums and doctors and stuff going wrong. Yeah. You know, let's have something a bit different. That's what we like. So we're going to make our way over to Cabin in the Woods. Nice. Seat there, being a restraint. We're on to a winner, aren't we, Beasley? Huh? We're on to a winner. Yeah. Colossus was down, and it had about an hour and a bit's queue. It's just reopened, and we're not far back, in it. I mean, it's probably going to be about a five-minute wait for this now, when we get back to the station. Literally just open. So we're going to quickly squeeze this in. I love how they change all the audio there. I think it really adds to the event, doesn't it? Just turns it from your standard everyday theme park day into, you know, a Halloween event. It's going to ride on courses, the 10 looper, Intamin roller coaster. And we'll uh, see you after four cabin in the woods. Shedding the trees. If you can tell me whereabouts on Theme Park Worldwide this music is, comment below and I'll tell you if you did right. Whereabouts is this music from on our channel? This. This improved a lot since last year, in my opinion. Last year was good, wasn't too sure on the fleet free flow thing. They've ironed out the issues this year. I love it. Chose first time this year. You did it last year. You enjoyed it last year, didn't you? Yeah. You had the same year. sort of issues about it with, yeah. with me, didn't you, really, last year? I mean, depends you know. on the batch and all that. It does. It can either be a short experience or a long experience. This year, hey, what? The dog's getting in. So, what's his name? I don't know yet. Come on, we need to name him. Come on. I think you should call him Sean. That's not bad. Call him man. Sean, name him after me. Theme yeah. Park Worldwide on YouTube. There you go. Give us a woof, come on. There you go, Sean did a woof. Let's go and cabin in the woods. <laughs> Just done cabin in the woods. How was that? Amazing again. It was amazing. I would say that was even more intense than it was a couple of weeks ago when I was here for the opening night. That was really, really good. Four actors on two people. In the, fi in the finale scene. My advice to that is, with it being a free flow maze, you can sort of break off through doors and stuff. We were on our own. <laughs> Love it. Roman Atto <laughs> or just some random addressed up? Random. <laughs> Probably that. Um, <laughs> talking random, let's hope that we'll see some street entertainment around tonight around the park. But that was good. 10 out of 10. I'd, I think that um, Studio 13 was still yeah, yeah, a bit more intense yeah. earlier. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. cabin there. An all-round fantastic Halloween attraction. Get yourself down here to Friday nights. There's a about a week and a half left of this event. Come and check it out. I mean, you know, it was a really good run through there. It's a busy day today, and it just shows this year. Even though it's busy, they're not letting the quality go down in the maze, and that's always the key. Um, so we're going to go and have some lunch now. We're in the Stealth Diner, I think. Love that though. Gets the heart pounding. Yeah. Four actors definitely split off. A little tip for you. A little bit of a spoiler as well. So cover your ears if you don't want it. When you go into the first room, take the far door on your left. And then when you come out of that one, take the next door to your left. And then you'll have the longest experience. Team Ball Worldwide on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> some weird people down here tonight. Um, but yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Let's have some food. Have it in the world. Talking aromas, there they are.
As you can probably tell, going inside my bloody Valentine, which is quite a small stair attraction based inside these shipping containers. <laughs> which are really well themed on this side. Actually, they all want some Experiment 10, if you didn't realize that. And when you're on Nemesis Inferno lift, if you look down, you'll see on the roof of all these, it says Experiment 10. Interesting fact for you. So, right, Joe, did you enjoy your sausage and chips? Like, what? It's nice, wasn't it? It's nice. Bombs. It's starting to go dark. The island changes after dark, isn't it? You're trying to get in the background, there you go, you're in it now. Final wave, then you're in it, there you go. Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Oh, Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Oh, yeah. YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Woo! Hi. We're famous! There you go, she got it. Just a little quickie before we go in. I actually advertised the two hour queue, didn't it? How long have we waited? About half hour so far? Uh, yeah, about, about just over 30 minutes. We joined at 6, so what time is now? 40 minutes we've waited. And we're nearly in, we're in about 5 minutes. Also to know, since our vlog last week, they've actually changed the audio around this area. So it's not playing the same as Studio 13, which is good. Dum, 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 dum. We'll let you know what we think of my bloody Valentine when we come out. What did you think of it last year, Joe? Uh, I thought it was very good. The first first visit I came here last year, I thought it was the best one. And then it kind of dropped to the bottom one after my second visit. So it was kind of random, really. So we'll um, see what happens, eh? Yeah. The park looks great, though, now at night. Park after dark always looks good. I'm in a rave now. Valentine with a group of kids that were absolutely petrified. <laughs> How was it, Joe? Uh, it was good, yeah, it was very good, yeah. Um, I, I don't know what to think of that really because it was sort of the same as good last year, I thought. Well, I think uh, that was the best run I've ever had through yeah, that. Yeah, it's the best you've always been done, I Yeah, think, so. definitely, because I don't really rate that too much and I thought that was much better. Everything we've done tonight, we've done three houses so far. I keep calling them houses after, uh, after Florida. <laughs> That's what they're called, haunted the houses. We've done three mazes. Oh, you're all right, I'll pass on that. <laughs> Tidal wave though tonight. Um, but yeah, it was good that. I'd give it six out of 10 for me. Um, but of course, you had the big squeeze in there. That was uh, tighter than ever, around the face especially. Um, and then obviously they come up with the gas mass and it's a really right, quite intense maze. Then we're gonna try. Lots of Harry Warden, isn't there? Yeah, we're gonna try and get a uh, a night ride on the swarm. If we can. We love the swarm, don't we? Yeah. It's my second favourite coaster in the UK, in fact. Just after Nemesis at Alton Towers. Hey, uh, you're alright. Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube, check it out. Every shot. Every shot. It's every shot tonight. <laughs> it's Thought Park, it's bring them out. <laughs> love the audio. Oh, some of the street ends. So flug the diamond out. Flug the diamond. Flug the diamond. Yeah, flug the diamond. Sounds like you're saying something else there on this family channel. The atmosphere of this area. It is fantastic, isn't it? You look at the quality of theming while waiting to this. It's great. 
we get some fire. It'll either be, well, sometimes it runs every three trains. Sometimes it runs every train. Hopefully we'll just get along with the fire. Here it comes. Wow! <laughs> All that on video for you there, that's what makes Fright Night. Wow. That was epic. What do you think of that, that, Joe? I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> Neither did I in Tilton High. That was great. Fantastic. Good old CO2 cannons for the win. <laughs> Four of them mounted on the shop there. And it went off with the uh, fire. Whether that was a fluke or whether that was... I think that's time. ...in though. sync. I don't know. It was bloody good, that was. Everything now, the queues have sort of spread out, haven't they? Making everything at least 60 minutes to 120. So we're going to go on tidal wave. No, we're not. Okay, that's I'm going to go on tidal wave. Uh, I'll film me on it. And Joe's going to film me on it because I like tidal. It's a nice warm night. I'll stand on the bridge. On the bridge, bridge act. Has you got a queue? I don't think so. Yeah, it's walk on the Five minutes. But the, the best thing you can do with one of these, right? Is this is show, a gun yeah, on Storm a Surge. Gun. Show, show people that come down if you like, you've got a quid for the gun, and then basically just tell them it's coming. So you go, ah, you get when, they, when they're coming down, down the ride, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Right. We'll, we'll show you in just a second. We'll give you a demonstration. Down. It is hilarious. But well, we are going to put the quid in in a minute yeah, as well. Yeah, it's better than actually using the gun, this. It's much funny. Getting your money's worth, that's what I yeah. call it. <laughs> Change of plan, this is the one. What, put it in? This is the one. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to get them excited. Ready? Ready? Go, go, go. <laughs> How much did that cost, Joe? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it cost a lot of laughing. This is the one. Executive decision. Decided to queue for Blairwitch. Blairwitch project. The one. What we just been on as well. We had a great ride on uh, Quantum, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Quantum's a friggin' good ride. It's classic. I love it. Now Blairwitch was very disappointing last year, wasn't it? This year, obviously Joe hasn't done it yet, but I did it last week when I well, a couple of weeks ago when I came for the only night of Friday night. Very impressed. I preferred this to My Bloody Valentine and also saw a live. Mainly because I think it's got a good atmosphere. There's lighting down there this year, there's audio. And you guys have come along for a bit of the journey as well for this one. And of course we'll see what Joe thinks to it as well when we come out of the old witch. I wonder how that they're going to be for Colossus All good news for us, another overestimation on the queue time. We've waited about 10 minutes, haven't we, Joe? <laughs> right. uh -huh. We got told an hour at this one. 
It's been a good day today, I mean, getting all these attractions in. Chesterton was good earlier. Really enjoyed Chesterton, especially that scene in uh, Haunted in the Hallows. It was good to meet up with the guys as well. See Mark, we saw Chris, Nikki, good to see you guys. It's time to go and see the witch. She's in this forest somewhere. Don't have a clue where she is. I don't think she's going to be in the shed at the end or anything. Excuse me. Team Paul World at the end. Is it? Yeah, HQ at the end. Yeah. All my mugs are going to be lined up on the wall. Then she's going to smash them in front of me. That would break my heart. I'm only going to make your heart. That was good. She started scratching my neck then. I do like, I quite, I quite like that. She could carry on. It's quite relaxing. They can't really see a lot, but there's some tents down here. This feels just as good as it was the other night again. I've been very impressed with all the attractions tonight. It's just uh, so alive, obviously, we've not done yet. That smoke looks amazing rising up through the, through the trees, the light. See the witch. It's about Blair Witch, amazing. I love it. It's a really good atmospheric attraction. Yeah, yeah. a lot more activity on that. Uh, than Definitely. It wasn't just coming up with a torch, flashing on. It felt a little bit like it was, uh, you know, missing something last year. Absolutely love it this year. I think it's they've just got the balance right with that. Uh, with Blair Witch, really, 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 really good. I love it. Swarm. Doing cabin again, if you haven't noticed already. So that's nearly all for Friday nights again and also Chesterton World of Adventures. Hope you enjoyed our footage earlier from Halloween. What was your favourite attraction then, Joe, at uh, Both. Four Bar Friday nights? Uh, you got to pay one. Definitely Studio 13, 100% Studio 13, that was amazing, both times. We just had another run through on so that, consistent. we had another run through on Cabin just didn't we, yeah. uh, you know, we've done them all, obviously not done so alive tonight, yeah. but it's pretty much identical to it always has been. Yeah, I used to have loads of run throughs. Been part worldwide on the US tube. <laughs> Got to spice up a bit. There we go. Okay. But yeah, we just, it was great, wasn't it, Joe? Yeah, yeah. What a night it's been. It's been a pleasure bringing it to you, of course, from myself and Mr. Joe Beasley. Uh, yeah, coming towards the end of the season, so one of the last vlogs of the season as well. Um, so it's been a cracking year on Theme Park Worldwide. Still a bit more to come up, of course, the rest of this year. And there'll be loads of videos coming on throughout the winter from Orlando and things like that. It's going to be great. That's all from Thought Park Friday nights. Hope you've enjoyed it. My name's Sean Sandbrook. That was Mr. Joe Beasley. That means from both of us, it's time to spook those credits. See you later, guys. Thanks for coming.